on? Welcome back to the channel, Carl's Kicks. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Um, thank you all for subscribing for the channel. Um, my subscribers have went up. I'm very happy about that. Um, so just please, you know, hit that like button. It helps out. Hit that subscribe button. Share the videos. And thank you for the comments and the feedback. I really do appreciate it. So um, I'm back with another sneaker review. Um, I just got off work. Um, I had to take care of the dogs and stuff. So it's like 6 in the morning where I'm at. It's actually 7 now. Um, but anyway, let's hop into it. So super excited um, to have these shoes. They finally came in. So this is a Jordan 6 box. Um, now, I do want to point out something that was really weird. When I first got this, I thought they were fake. This is from StockX. So this is a Jordan 6 electric green. So you see how small this label is. And another thing that threw me off, as you can see, this is a size 12. Then it states what size it is in women's, 13 and a half. And to me, that was really weird. And just how small the font is on here. And just how the label looks in general. Because if you look... Just give me a second. Um, let's see a six box. Um, so these are the Travis Scott's. I want to pull out a regular six. Okay. Give me a second. Sorry, guys. I got a whole bunch of stuff on top of here. Okay. So... Now this is a six box, and I don't know which six this is. I think this is my. So these are the infrared. So as you can see, this label, right, on the sixes, or even one of the newer six labels, which would be the one on top. Let's just get that one, which would even be this six box. Okay, so. Um, the label on this one really threw me off, but as I did some more research, this is how this label is. So super skinny and it states the women's size. All right, uh, retail price is 190. Did I pay 190? No. Um, now, oh, and the color is just uh, super small, but it's black, electric green. All right. So now the inside of this box. Um, with these shoes, you should see this stamp. So it has a stamp, does not have a um, gold quality control sticker. And then this is, I guess, the new paper. It's like this white paper with a speckle, kind of matches the box, okay? Um, not translucent, really. I mean, so it's like the white tissue paper, but with the speckles on it, okay? Now, before I get into the shoe, which is fire, um, now it did come with a YDM sticker, which is the anti-mold. Now a lot of shoes that are fake do have this sticker, but how you can tell this is a real YDM sticker is if, if you you probably won't be able to see that, but it has lines in it. So if you look at your YDM sticker, it should have lines going through it. Not the lines on a the box; they'll be going a different way for the most part. Okay. Um, so anyway, that's just that. And I mean, I don't know if it's going to be people making fakes of these shoes or I'm sure it is. But anyway, so that's just to take care of that. Now this shoe, um, in the inside of mine, it says upper material made out of synthetic leather or something. It says, uh, yeah, upper contains synthetic leather. leather. So... To me, the smell of this shoe was off as well. Um, it didn't smell like that new shoe smell to me, and I'm guessing it might be because of the materials used in the shoe. So um, those, are, so the label threw me off in the smell, and then I saw that sticker, so I'm figuring that's that's what it was. But anyway, um, so we got a classic six silhouette, and then we got the electric green. Now, no, this shoe is not as good as the Oregon sixes, but Obviously, those are a lot of money. So if you can't afford those, this is going to be your next bet. Um, you know, the organs got the duck on the back, then the O on the side. 
fire shoe, but this is a fire shoe as well. Um, so again, classic six silhouette, except you got your electric green jump man, electric green um, shoelace tie or holder. On the back of this, we got the Air Jordan, all right, because it's not a retro. So, um, Retro's got Nike Air. This has the Jumpman on it, okay? This one does not have the um, 3M in the inside. So, this one does not have the 3M in the inside um, like the other sixes does. Um, and the bottom is that milky. Mind it, it's not that clear like you see on some of It's that milky color, which I like a lot because in time they'll wear a lot better. Um, and the inside, the bubble, it kind of matches that milky um, pull tip on the back. Got the hint of the electric green. Then a classic six tongue with the Air Jordan, the two holes in it. Uh, shoe tree, I actually didn't even take this out. That probably would have been good. So shoe tree is going to say the mold is sock liner. Um, and really that that is about it for this shoe. But honestly, um, I didn't get these on... Um, Sneakers I missed out, so I ended up getting them on StockX, and I didn't pay too much. So if you want this shoe, they're not going for too much right now. You'll pay a little over, but not too bad. What did I pay? I paid, um, now you know that the shipping is what kills you, okay? So the shoe dropped for 190 after taxes, let's say, would have been 200, 210, or 220. So I got this shoe for 244, not bad, but then after shipping and taxes came out to 283. So, you know. I got the shoe for two forty four. Let's let's leave it at that. Um, so to me, super dope shoe. And of course, you know, on the sixes we got our three lines. Make sure these are bold and pronounced. That'll be a good way to making sure they're legit. Make sure your tag looks good. But um, super happy to get this shoe. Um, if you check out my Instagram, I got a super dope shirt. Um, it's a Jordan six shirt to match with these. Um, I think it goes real good together. Um, but let me know what you guys think about these. I was soon as I saw these I said I was gonna get these I knew I want them. This is my second favorite color This is called electric green, but I call it lime green. It's like a green apple um, But my second favorite color so I already knew I was gonna get these uh, for sure so and just to give you guys um, Just a comparison now I think these for the 2019 drop and they have a Nike Air on them. So basically, this is my infrared pair. And you can see the 3M instantly. Um, and it has the Nike Air. Oh, and you see how the back, make sure that back looks good. You'll know a fake from just how that back looks right here where this uh, material is. But anyway, um, so you know. So, and as you can see, this one has that milky, and this is the clear bottom. And as you can see, even right here, it's starting to get a little discolored just from wearing it. Um, I mean, and it's still super clean, but you can see how the bottom is looking from when you wear it. So, this part looks a little icer than the back part, but, you know, it is what it is. And that's why this, this milky part is kind of dope so basically it's the same exact thing except the colors you know just switched so yeah and on the inside of these we got the jump man okay um on my infrared that one's worn out it seems like you know one wear with these things and they wear out um but as you can see this one did say nike air so um that's the only difference with them the material to me, it feels about the same. So here we go. Uh, Electric Green Sixes. Thank you all for tuning in. Let me know what you think about this shoe. Did you cop this shoe? Um, you want the organs or, you know, what? Um, oh, men's sizes do not glow on the bottom. Only the GS sizes. So if you see someone saying that this shoe glows, it doesn't. It's only the GS sizes, kid sizes. Men's sizes do not glow. So if you get one that glows, I'll probably be aware of that. All right. Thank you all for tuning in, and we out of here.